Jim Holly, race day live here at the press conference 2015 Anaheim brought to you by Amsoil with well, Chad Reed. You had fun in that press conference, man. I enjoyed it. I ask pretty good questions though, don't I sometimes? You do. You should have sat in the media part. Well, I, I was. It was so crowded there. I had to back up. But uh, I, I noticed a different Chad Reed uh, this year. And I always say that each and every year, you know, you seem a little bit more relaxed and you seem to be enjoying it. You know, I think each year you find things that work for you, things that make sense to you, uh, things that motivate you, you know, find that passion again. And it's just each year I feel like I'm figuring this thing out. So uh, I don't have many years to figure it out. So uh, hopefully now it's all coming together. So uh, looking forward to the season. Obviously, uh, you know, same old shit. It's, we've worked hard. I feel like we're in a good position. And uh, now we just need to drop the gates and see where we stand and, uh, and work from there. Let me ask you this, something new for uh, 2-2 Motorsports, you hired on a second rider, uh, Josh Grant, uh, how's that working? It's doing good. Um, I've only been around Josh in, during the offseason uh, like three days, so uh, uh, the reports that I get is everything's going well, um, he's putting in the effort and you know he's comfortable with the bike and testing's going well, so uh, I'm excited, you know, I think it takes a little pressure on, off of me. Um, you know, it's kind of allowed me just to do my thing and uh, have somebody else on the race team that can, uh, you know, kind of do some of the testing, run through some of the things that, that they do typically in California and not, not having to box it up and ship it to Florida. So, uh, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a good, you know, solid start to, uh, you know, the relationship of having a second rider for sure. Let me ask you this. I know you were over in uh, Italy at the MotoGP hanging out with Valentino Rossi and stuff. And when I was riding back in the day, I was in Suzuka, Japan, testing. Eddie Lawson was over there testing. I had a chance to uh, ride one of those bikes around the track. And I said, no, no, thanks. I don't want to ride a MotoGP bike. Did you have that opportunity? I and, and if it presented itself, would you take a lap? I haven't had the opportunity. Uh, you know, unfortunately, Kawasaki pulled out of MotoGP a few years ago. But uh, yeah, I mean, if the, the opportunity arose and I had uh, that, that chance, I mean, of course I would try it. Um, I grew up in the McDoin era, um, you know, to, to rewind quite a bit. I mean, uh, nobody was successful in, in the USA from Australia. So, uh, you know, it seemed like I was beating a dead horse and there was, you know, like I wanted to go and be the world champ and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and nobody previous to me was able to be successful at that. So then, you know, road racing was good. You had the, you know, Gardner, Dewan, um, Gobert, uh, all these guys, uh, McCoy. And so at some point, I think I was about six. Stoner. Yeah, well, Stoner's actually after me. So, um, you know, I was already here and, and winning races before he went MotoGP but uh, you know so yeah to remind a little bit I mean I was 16 years old I remember being uh, I was a Suzuki guy and uh, I remember get, picking up the phone and asking for a uh, you know 250 Prodi and uh, the guy's like yeah cool we'll get you one and uh, for some reason it never showed and uh, it was only you know maybe like 10 15 years later that I figured out that uh, my mom and dad basically shut it down and was like no it's too dangerous too fast and I'm like you guys are crazy you know it's so yeah I mean I thought that that was my ticket out of the country too to be a world champ to maybe go road racing but uh, unfortunately never got the you know never got the not, never got the chance